Hello students! Welcome to our Math 7 class. Our lesson for today is about adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions. Adding and subtracting fractions have the same rule. Now we'll start with adding and subtracting similar fractions. Similar fractions means um, the two fractions have the same denominator. For example, two-thirds plus four-thirds. So, this is a similar fraction because the two fractions have the same denominator. The rule in adding or subtracting fractions with the same denominator or when adding and subtracting similar fractions, the rule is we will just copy the common denominator which is 3 and then add the numerators 2 plus 4 gives us 6 now as you can see the fraction can still be simplified 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2 therefore when we add 2 thirds and 4 thirds the answer or the sum will be 2 now, let's have another example in adding similar fractions. Let's say 5 over 11 plus 2 over 11. The fraction is a similar fraction because the denominators are the same. So, we will just copy the same or the common denominator and then add the numerators 5 plus 2 gives us 7 therefore 5 11 plus 2 over 11 is equal to 7 over 11 the same rule applies when we subtract similar fraction for example 11 over 12 minus um, let's say 7 over 12. We will just copy the common denominator, which is 12, then subtract the numerators. 11 minus 7 gives us 4. Now, the difference can still be simplified. Both 4 and 12 are divisible by 2. So, we can simplify 4 and 12 by dividing them by 2. <laughs> 4 divided by 2 gives us 2. 12 divided by 2 gives us 6. Now, 2 and 6 can still be simplified. They are still divisible by 2. So, we can simply divide both of them by 2 again. 2 divided by 2 gives us 1, and 6 divided by 2 gives us 3. Now, 1 and 3 are already simplified. Therefore, the simplified form of 4 and 12 is 1 third. Thus, when we subtract 11 over 12 minus 7 over 12 gives us 1 third. Another example in subtracting similar fractions. Let's say 4 fifth minus 3 fifth. Now again, let's just copy the common denominator which is 5 and then subtract the numerators. 4 minus 3 gives us 1. 1 fifth is already simplified, therefore, this is already the answer. How about if we will add the similar fraction 
or fractions with different denominators. Let's say 2 fifth plus 1 fourth. As you can see, we cannot just simply copy denominator because clearly the denominators are different. We have 5 and 4. Now, what are we going to do if we encounter dissimilar fractions? The first thing we are going to do is find the least common denominator of 5 and 4. To look for the least common denominator, we will list down all the multiples of 5 and 4. Now we'll start with 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. How about for the multiples of 4? So we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and so on. Since we are looking for the LCD, so we are going to look for the least common multiple of 5 and 4. Now we have 20. So we are going to write here 20. That's the first thing we are going to do. We look for the LCD or the least common denominator. Now, the second step is that we are going to divide the LCD by each of the denominator. Then, the quotient will be divided by the numerator. 20 divided by 5 gives us 4. 4 times 2 gives us 8. Copy the operation, which is plus or addition. 20 divided by 4 gives us 5. 5 times 1 gives us 5. Now let's add. 8 plus 5 gives us 13 and then copy the LCD which is 20. Therefore, 2 fifth plus 1 fourth gives us 13 over 20. Another example, 5 over 6 plus 2 thirds. As you can see, the same with our example earlier, we have different denominators. So we will look for the LCD. When looking for the LCD, we will list the multiples of both 6 and 3. Multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, and so on. Multiples of 3 gives us 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. As you can see, we have plenty of common multiples of 6 and 3, but we will look for the least common. Now, the least common is 6. So therefore, our LCD will be 6. After looking for the LCD, let's now divide the LCD by the denominators, then multiply by the numerators. 6 divided by 6 gives us 1 times 5 gives us 5. Copy the operation, which is addition. 6 Divided by 3 gives us 2, times 2 gives us 4. 5 plus 4 gives us 9, over, copy the LCD, which is 6. As you can see, 9 and 6 can still be simplified. They are both divisible by 3. So we can divide 9 and 6 by 3. Oh, sorry. 9 divided by 3 gives us 3. 6 divided by 3 gives us 2. 
Now, 3 and 2 are already simplified. So, therefore, this is now our final answer. 5 6 plus 2 thirds is equal to 3 halves. The same rule applies in subtracting the similar fractions. Let's say, for example, 3 fourths minus 1 half. The same rule as the addition, we will look for the LCD. When looking for the LCD, we will list the multiples of 4 and 2. So we have 4. 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on. For 2, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. Now, the least common multiple is 4. Therefore, our least common denominator is 4. After looking for the LCD, we will now divide the LCD by the denominators, then multiply the quotient by the numerators. 4 divided by 4 gives us 1. 1 times 3 gives us 3. Copy the operation, minus or subtraction. 4 divided by 2 gives us 2, times 1 is equal to 2. 3 minus 2 gives us 1. Copy the LCD, 4. 1 fourth is already simplified. Therefore, this is now our final answer. In multiplying fractions, we will simply multiply the numerators. Then, we will also multiply the denominators. For example, 2 thirds times 1 fourth. Simply multiply the numerators 2 times 1, 2, and the denominators 3 times 4, 12. 2 and 12 can still be simplified, they are both divisible by 2. Now let's just divide 2 and 12 by 2. 2 divided by 2, 12 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 gives us 1. 12 divided by 2 gives us 6. Therefore, the product is 1 over 6. Another example, let's say 3 fifths times 2 over 9. Simply multiply the numerators. 3 times 2 is 6. 5 times 9 is 45. So, 6 and 45 can still be simplified. They are both divisible by 3. So, we can divide 6 and 45 by 3. 6 divided by 3 gives us 2. 45 divided by 3 gives us 15. Now, 2 and 15 are already simplified. So, therefore, our final answer is 2 over 15. In dividing fractions, we will get the reciprocal of the divisor. It means that we are going to interchange the numerator and denominator. After getting the reciprocal, we will proceed to multiplication. For example, 3 fifths divided by 1 half. Now, the first question is, which among the fractions 3 fifth or 1 half is the divisor? 3 fifth or the first term is the dividend. And the second term is the 
divisor. Therefore, we will get the reciprocal of the second term, which is 1 half. So, we will just copy the dividend, 3 fifth, and then get the reciprocal of the divisor. Reciprocal means we are going to interchange the numerator and denominator. So, we'll have 2 over 1. After getting the reciprocal, proceed to multiplication. Now, let's go back to the rule in multiplying fractions. Simply multiply the numerators and then multiply also the denominators. So, 3 times 2 gives us 6 over 5 times 1 gives us 5. Therefore, 3 fifth divided by 1 half gives us 6 over 5. Another example, 2 over 9 divided by 6, 7. So, we will get the reciprocal of the divisor. Let's just copy the dividend, get the reciprocal of the divisor, then proceed to multiplication. 2 times 7 gives us 14. 9 times 6 gives us 54. 14 and 54 can still be simplified. We can divide them both by 2. 14 divided by 2, 54 divided by 2. 14 divided by 2 gives us 7. 54 divided by 2 gives us 27. Therefore, our final answer is 7 over 27.